good morning students how are you from the last two weeks don't have this uh, recording video classes now because of uh, fa1 exams uh, we you have the revision videos now from this week onwards you have this uh, uh, video classes in this video i'm going to explain about lesson 3 in previous videos i almost i completed the lesson but i don't want to continue the lesson once i will uh, recall the main points from the lesson then i will continue this uh, lesson so we are discussing about lesson 3 the synthetic fibers and plastics see in this lesson fibers so there are two types of fibers natural fibers and synthetic fibers natural fibers we can obtain from two ways either plants or animals and uh, what are the examples of these uh, natural fibers pure cotton pure silk and pure woolen uh, woolen we can get from the sheep cotton from plants cotton plants and the silk from the silk moths now coming to the synthetic fibers these synthetic fibers are man made fibers so you can prepare these fibers artificially means we cannot obtain naturally so what are the raw materials how to prepare these synthetic fibers this uh, for the preparation of these synthetic fibers we uh, we obtain mainly from the petro based chemicals or petrochemicals these petrochemicals are subjected to different chemical process and at last we get or we obtain these synthetic fibers understand children now in this synthetic fibers what are the examples of synthetic fibers nylon acrylic rayon polyester and plastics from the polyester we can prepare plastics and <coughs> in this synthetic fibers it contains these synthetic fibers all the synthetic fibers it contains polymers what is a polymer polymer is nothing but very small units many small units join and they form a long chain that long chain will call it as a polymer so in all the synthetic fibers are made up of or they contain polymers or they contain polymers now uh, suppose now we discussed about the uh, natural and synthetic fibers suppose if a fiber is given how we will identify that whether the given fiber is a natural or synthetic for that we have the identification test that we can uh, find out by you by bonding the fiber so you collect different types of fibers which contain natural and synthetic fibers then each one you take it with the tongs and burn it and when you burn if it gives the smell of hair when it gives the smell of here i wrote here you see hair the yarn is wool or silk when see identifying fibers burning test when it burns if the yarn burns like hair then the yarn is wool or silk then you take one more fiber and burn it if it gives the smell of burning of a paper then that fiber or the yarn is a cotton or rayon or sometimes if you take the fiber and burn it it will not burn but it melts if it melts if the fiber melts then it is a synthetic fiber maybe either nylon or acrylic so like this by burning the test we can identify the type of fiber now coming to types of fibers how to prepare how many types of fibers we have and how to prepare and uh, what are the uses of these synthetic fibers <coughs> actually natural fibers are very costly and according to that increasing of population uh, we cannot obtain that uh, natural items by the time and they are very costly and all the people they cannot afford and the maintenance of the natural um, fibers or the uh, clothes which are made up of natural fibers are very uh, difficult 
and uh, it is not easy so due to that scientists they have to uh, they thought to prepare these fibers artificially like that they produce these artificial fibers like uh, nylon rayon acrylic polyester etc now all these fibers how to prepare and what are the uses of these fibers that we'll discuss so the first one is nylon actually for the preparation of the nylon uh, the raw material <coughs> coal air and water here i wrote you see coal coal water and air so by mixing these three and uh, they prepare the nylon fiber so this nylon fiber is very very strong and uh, when you compare this uh, strongness with the uh, steel wire it almost equal the strongest of this nylon um, uh, row nylon string is equals to the iron string so that much strong this nylon uh, row that uh, thread it has next these nylon fibers are used in the preparation of the ropes and uh, next of um, what is that parachutes and in umbrellas and so many and uh, and uh, athletics they are using some uh, sports wear in that also they are using this so many uses we have and all the synthetic fibers when you compare to the natural fibers they are very cheaper easily maintained you can maintain easily and easily dry so they have some advantages and uh, then compared to the natural they are very cheaper now coming to the rayon rayon is also known as artificial silk in pure wool uh, it is very costly uh, that we can obtain uh, thousands only but this artificial silk you can this is very cheap and uh, this for the preparation of this rayon uh, wood pulp is used from the plants cellulose they are preparing this artificial silk so uh, due to the uh, plants cellulose this rayon is also known as cellulose fiber this rayon is also known as cellulose fiber which dash is known as uh, um, sorry dash fiber is known as uh, artificial silk rayon dash uh, fiber is known as cellulose fiber rayon like that they may ask in bits now actually this rayon fiber in the preparation of this rayon fiber they are using the wood pulp even though it does not comes under the natural fiber why because the wood pulp we can get it naturally understand but we call it as an artificial or synthetic fiber why because that wood pulp is subjected to means it is combined with the some other chemicals due to the addition of chemicals this rayon comes under a synthetic fiber actually this rayon fiber is very weak so due to this uh, this is uh, this fiber is used as in the preparation of uh, bandages and uh, like uh, pampers huggies some napkins they are used when what uh, actually these fibers are very weak due to that way they these fibers are combined with some other fibers and they that fibers are used to produce some other uh, clothes or something because they are very weak now coming to acrylic coming to acrylic acrylic is known as fake fur actually woolen clothes are very costly and uh, we required a uh, number of sheets for the uh, woolen clothes now nowadays but uh, because in india uh, population wise uh, we have the second place so to get all the woolen clothes for all the people it is very difficult so that's why to get uh, woolen clothes for all the people we should depend on the synthetic fibers so that's why this acrylic comes under fake fur which fiber is known as fake fur Ac acrylic and in the preparation of acrylic the raw materials are coal air water oil and limestone so they are mixing all this uh, one and they pro they can produce this uh, ac they, they will prepare this acrylic fiber actually in the preparation of acrylic fiber uh, the fibers are spun by two methods wet uh, spunning and dry spunning 
and this is acrylic are used alternation of woolen clothes so either sweaters raja is or blankets will like that next coming to the polyester <coughs> in this polyester then all the synthetic fibers polyester is very very famous why it is very lightweight easily dry and uh, it has one important characteristic in in this uh, polyester fibers actually in the preparation of this polyesters that fibers are melted and they spun when due to this uh, melting of this uh, fiber you can get the required shape and the sizes the required item you can get in the required shapes and the required sizes and uh, in this polyester terlin is a famous polyester terlin terlin is a famous polyester and uh, polyesters nowadays we are using many purposes bottles boards all the plastic items for all the plastic items we are using in the clothes and also not only for the clothes because it has a Uh, important characteristic when they are preparing this polyester fibers the uh, fibers are melted and spun so due to that melting of that we can get the required shapes and the sizes due to that it uh, this pro it mm, this property is used in the preparation of not only the fibers uh, plastic items nowadays whatever we are using now in all this one more is there polyester after plastics that we'll discuss later now blending what is blending actually the maintenance <coughs> the maintenance of the pure clothes natural clothes are very difficult so suppose if you take the cotton it is very difficult to maintain because it absorbs more water so uh, obviously it takes much time to dry and uh, when you wash the uh, cotton clothes it wrinkles and you have to iron it you have to press it so the maintenance is very difficult and if you take the synthetic clothes and they are not skin friendly means uh, when you wear those clothes synthetic clothes pure synthetic clothes uh, we may get the skin rashes and um, it uh, it does not absorb water because they absorb less water it does not absorb uh, sweat our sweat and uh, and uh, they have some what is that and uh, stat they catch up the static electricity and uh, these clothes easily uh, catches fire so due to these bad qualities of the synthetic and the natural fibers what they are doing they are mixing the natural fibers and the synthetic fibers so the mixing of the fibers either one or two or more than here i wrote the definition once you see the synthetic fibers are combined with two or more other fibers whether they are natural or synthetic so the mixing of the synthetic and the natural uh, or natural to synthetic whatever may be the mixing of the fibers is known as blending okay so when you mix the cotton and polyester you can get the resultant fiber after the blending process you will get a good quality of your fiber and it does not wrinkle free and it absorbs less water easily dries and uh, lightweight so many qualities we have so whatever the required quality of the fiber you want you blend you choose that fibers and blend it you can get the resultant fiber understand children now one more point we discuss that is laundry label codes laundry label codes if you buy any ready made garments you can observe and that uh, item <coughs> they are given the codes with the labels so what it indicates means how to maintain that um, clothes how to maintain how to wash how to iron do that it uh, that precautions are given in the form of uh, laundry labels see so like this if we have like this uh, like a beaker shape means how to wash that clothes whether you have to wash in cold water medium hot water or lukewarm water or high temperature so they given the dots or something like that. next 
triangle symbol. This triangle symbol indicates whether the clothes are uh, subjected to bleaching or not. Next, this symbol indicates iron. Iron means whether you have to, when you are using even in the iron boxes also nowadays, they are given like this uh, half circuit. Uh, these are for nylon clothes, these are for uh, cotton, silk, woolen clothes like this. Means uh, depends on the type of the clothes, we have to choose the um, ironing. Means as it required less temperature, high temperature or medium temperature. Now, this round symbol, circle symbol represents for uh, dry clean. And if arrow mark given means do not dry clean. And this last one is the tumble dry. How to dry those clothes either in the shade or in the uh, sun. Like that we can uh, find out and you, you by using this you have to maintain your clothes. Understand children? Next one more point is. Mm, recycling symbols we discussed about the recycling symbols from the polysters we can get a number of varieties of plastics so uh, what are the plastic item if you see you can get the triangle symbol and in the triangle symbols uh, numbers are given from one to seven so number one means code one means it indicates pet bottle so pet bottle means <coughs> they're used for the preparation of bottles next code 2 it is known as hdp high density polyethylene and uh, they are used for carry bags this uh, uh, code 2 is used for carry bags code 3 is used to, it is known as pvc and it is used for pipes and code 4 it is known as ldpe low density polyethylene and it is used this is also used for carry bags next and uh, Code 5, we'll call it as polypropylene. We'll, this also is used for bottles. And 6, polystyrene, that it is used in the preparation of the coffee, uh, coffee cups and uh, boxes, etc. Like egg boxes for that, like etc. Next comes under 7. That 7 means the mixing of the plastics. 1 and 2 or 2 and 3. Like the mixing of from 1 to 6 comes under the uh, others means number seven so these seven this type of plastics are used for baby bottles water cooler bottles like some other they are using this seven so these all the points we discussed now coming to the plastics now i'll i will discuss in another video